I'll take a fucking top five any day on that track. All right, I believe we move on into Australia, right? Yes, Adelaide. Adelaide. This track is one of those tracks that I thank for being able to handle just 90 degrees square turns growing up. Nice. I don't know how many laps I made this race. I think I made it 10. Ah, oh, shit, we're in the rain? Damn. Yep, 10. 10 seems to be the common Denoma race. Oh. Not the best start, but... It's okay. Don't you fucking hit me. Oh, going through here double wide is never good. was one of those tracks that I like. It was one of those that, like, I didn't really like initially, but the more I drove it, the more I actually did start to like it, because it's, it's got a, like, it's got a good, like, finesse of speed, but also technique. It, it reminds me a little bit of, like, um, what's it called? Of, uh, Suzuka. Except Suzuka's fucking massive. I don't know where that guy's going. He freaking just sent it on the BMW and made it work. What a legend, this guy. I thought for sure he was going to biff it into the tires. Why are we going? We really have to go so slow through here? Really? Is it because it's raining? I feel like we can take that corner a lot faster, but, you know, I'll, just, I'll trust the AI. I haven't been on this track in ages, as most of the other tried just about flip the car. Holy shit. I freaking, that the curb was a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. God damn. Don't. Don't you fucking... Oh, boy. I don't know what that BMW was doing, but he, like, really messed me up on that fucking right-hander. The blue BMWs are doing justice, though, for the holdings. They're actually getting a lot more points. The freaking... I cannot say the same for the uh, light blue. Don't you... Oh, he fucking pinched me? Oh, this is gonna be a wreck and a half. Yeah, it's a wreck. so freaking hard. I, I'm, I'm all squirrely right now. Man, dude, the curves here in Australia. Are you fucking get... Fool. I don't know what the Holden and the BMW are doing up there. The Holden is, like, not very good on this track, it looks like. Oops, sorry. You fucking don't, you goddamn it! Get, get off me! Oh my god, I'm getting turned around again. Yep, there you go. Oh fucking dude, it's 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 literal clowns up here. These guys, you know what? I'm with you, buddy. I don't like this at all. I'm following my teammate in, dude. I don't want. See, I want to race. I want to, you know, make the video exciting, but it's, it gets so frustrating because the AIs will just willingly knock you off course or spin you around, and it's just like, bruh. Like, come on, man. All right. We're in 12th. Let's just run our race. Fuck whatever the other guys do. 
I, I needed to get out of that hornet's nest, man. I'd been spun and taken out too much. Let's just run our race. Now, hopefully my car handles better on fresh tires than it did at Sugo's handy. Or at Circa Taieda, I should say. Sugo wasn't too bad when I came out of the pants. I just, I had to pit on that one because the fucking first lap was so nervous. He's breaking, you fucking twat. I go to make a clean pass, and they, you know, honestly, there was this one time where Lauren did that to me, coming to like, we were, like, we were racing to the, like, the finish line, and I like, I got a good run out of the last bid on, I think we were on one of the Miami tracks, and I got through the last, clip, like, cut corners better than she did, and I got to her inside, and she, like, just shoved me into the wall at the finish line. I remember getting so mad, and, you know, I'm just starting to think now, maybe the reason why I got so fucking mad is because all the AIs in this game consistently always did it to me. Like, even afterwards, I remember I was so, like, angry. I think I, like, just, I was angry and I was tired that day. I think I, like, legit kind of, like, just went silent for a good while. And, like, may have actually even goes out. I don't remember much from that incident. Other than that, I, I was just really mad. I don't know that much. But, you know, I think about that moment every now and again. And, you know, every, you know, every time I think about it, I'm just like, God, why did I get so mad at her? Like, that's, like, one of those things that, I don't know. And then, like, but, you know, the fucking more I play this game, I start to remember, you know, that's why, it meant. you know why? Because the fucking AIs do that to me constantly. Intent. God forbid. Try to make a clean pass on AI. Challenge level impossible. And I don't like wrecking people. I really don't. Unless I, I feel like they fucking deserve it. I do not like wrecking people. I used to be a real savage back in the day, like 10, 12 years ago. I used to be real bad. If I, if I felt like somebody gave me the bumper, I would just flat turn them into the wall in the next corner. But I've matured. Obviously, I still get angry, but I'm a lot more passive than I used to be, that's for sure. Instead of living by the philosophy, I've changed my philosophy of, if you do that to me, I'm going to make sure you don't finish the race. I go from that to the best type of revenge in a race is to finish better than the person who wronged you, because then that lets them know, hey, even though you handicapped me, I still came back and whooped your ass anyway, so. How does that make you feel? Got some more cars on the pit road. We're up to eight. About halfway home in this race. The next track after this is probably my personal favorite, and it's the one track that on grid two we cannot race multiplayer on, and it pisses me the fuck off. It is Bathurst. I love Bathurst. It is a legendary track in the world. One of my personal favorites. A lot high end speeds, sharp corners. It's a dangerous track too. Because there's a couple sections on it that get real narrow, especially going up the hillside. You, you guys will see here in the next video. Oh, stuff in the tires. Huh. Nope. Oh, shit. Sorry, my fucking monitor went off, so I took my hand off the controller for a little bit. Looks like we have a Holden in front of us. Now, I don't know where cycles are going to put me at the end of it all. Oh, I just flat drove my ass right through. What in the shit? My bad, buddy. Of course, if I try to make a pass on him and if he cuts me off, I will be taking that apology right back. Looks like he's going to come down the pit road. Uh, no, not this time. It looked like he was going to. Okay, buddy, you need to start taking your corners a little bit harder.
Halfway home in this race, running sixth. I know. I think I was 12th when pit stops began, but I had lost so much time to the leader, so I kept getting turned. Whoa! doing a lot better than the Nissans on some of these corners is a sight to behold. Normally the Nissans do a lot better than me on corners. <clears throat> Up to fourth. The Nissan's gonna make a jump on me here. Don't fucking send it, please. He heated it, he backed off, but I may have sent it a little bit. It's okay. Oh, he's gonna have a hell of a run coming into this area. Yeah, there he goes. Side. Clear. Oh, he did not pick that. Interesting. Oh, my goodness gracious. I am still blowing corners. Let's, uh, why don't we ride around in the in car for a little bit, see how we do. Nobody's behind us for a good while. We are in third. I don't know if first and second have pitted. We could cycle out to the lead, but I'd be very surprised if we do. I don't think I was close to the lead at all. Ooh, boy. Got up on the curbing a little bit. What happened here? Why is he slow? Apparently this is second place. Ooh, boy, that can be really bad. He freaking broke really hard into that corner. He's crossing over. No, he's not. Not there. All right, second place. Or third, I should. Well, now we're in second. Oh, we're in first. Oh, we're in the lead. Check that shit out. Nice. Pitting early seems to do have its benefits. But then again, I've been forced to pit early because I freaking don't want to be in the hellhole that is the freaking AIs being stupid. Oh boy. This car gets really spongy when you get up on those curves. Pretty much have won the all tractor by now at this point, anyway. Hmm, I made this a little hard. Still made it work. Two laps to go. Next time by. Alright, and that was your one lap 
on board presented by Red Eagle Racing. And now we go back to the third person. I can drive well in the first person, but I really, I, I don't know, if, like some people, like third person is a lot more normal to a lot, like probably 80% of like video gamers whenever they like drive in racing games. So I don't want to like make anybody sick, sick because I'm driving in first person. My car is beat to shit, by the way, but our health is still pretty good. So, uh, and on the light blue colored areas here that are highlighted, uh, it's the transmission, the the cam the camshaft, and the engine, along with the tires. If you like, if you are involved in a hard crash of some sort, like the health of those items will become yellow to an extent. Sorry, buddy. Uh, basically, it'll really damage your car. Now, we have not been in a situation yet to have that happen to us, thank goodness. Because what can sometimes happen is if uh, if your tire goes yellow, the wheel's either bent or damaged, but if smoke starts billowing out, it'll actually increase the longer you drive. So it'll go from yellow to orange to red. If you go to red, the wheel's off the car, like you're on the rim. Same thing with the engine. If you lose, it's better to lose the engine than the transmission in this, because the transmission, if it gets damaged but the engine does not, then your shifting, especially on hills and like declines, is going to be so horrendous. You're going to lose a lot of like overall power. And then if the camshaft gets damaged, um, the overall engine performance is just going to go away. It's going to be like handicapped by like 25%. Which means your top end speed won't meet won't meet its potential. Uh, your cornering and downshifting is going to be a little off. So, but like I said, luckily you have to hit somebody pretty hard in this game to get damaged. Now I've done it plenty of times. Where like, especially going to Bathurst next, where a lot of the track gets really narrow up on the uphill. Like, we could, we could absolutely be in a crash, or even at Surfer's Paradise, because that track is really narrow. This race, for the most part, has been alright. Is this one of the blue Premieres? It looks like it. It's either that or a BMW. I think it's one of the blue Premieres, though. I brought in those blue Nissans, and they just don't... The, the blue Nissans just are so insufficient compared to the black ones and the yellow ones. Uh, I'm not racing this guy. Either. Oh, my goodness, maybe I am. What in this fuck? Why did you brake check me coming out of the corner? What are you doing? <laughs> but that, you know, is another victory royale for yours truly. Love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> the next track, though, is something I'm really excited about. Heck yeah. Let's go into Bathurst. You'll love it to see it. <laughs> 